everyone, welcome to Ann Makes. I am Ann, and today I have a new product unboxing to share with you. This is a product that I purchased at Joann's when I was in uh, Syracuse, New York last week. And I purchased this. I don't remember the price. If I find my receipt, I will put it here. But I know that I got this at 50% off because it was part of the Black Friday sale. And what attracted me to this is because it's a Diamond Dots product. And there are four in here. Four fantastic holiday projects. Add some sparkle to your world. So there are four projects in here. They are relatively small and will be quick to do. And it's my first time purchasing something uh, like this. It has four different diamond paintings to do. And I thought it was really fun and it was actually well priced. So this is what the other side of the box looks like. Now, full disclosure, I've already taken out all the little bags and cut them up and put them in the little Ziplocs I like to use. And I already started working on one of the projects and then it occurred to me, oh, I should do a video. Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm a little late. So here we go. So this is what the box looks like when you get it. If I have uh, any links available for you, I will include those in the description below. So in here, as I mentioned, as it says here, you do have everything included for four projects. And let me put this here. So you get one project is actually on a like one of those canvas panel boards. Oh, no, that doesn't make sense. Oh, anyway, um, and it's a partial. Only the actual wreath has the sticky stuff on it. What you see that is yellow here does not have any sticky stuff. And all the symbols are clearly marked uh, as most diamond paintings are. So this is the first project I am working on and it will be a wreath when it's done and then i will have the option of framing this i can also use the little frame stand that is included with the kit if i want to stand the little board here at an angle so I can do that or I can frame it with behind glass. There's different things that I can do. Also inside, the three other projects are actually on canvas panel. So here is one project which appears to be an ornament. Again, it's a partial. The yellow or beige part that you see does not have any sticky on it. And there are cutting lines here for you to cut the canvas apart. Then there is a snowman. Again, a partial. And finally, there is the tree with the lights or ornaments in it. And again, this is a partial. Each of the four projects uses uh, 20 colors they are all using they all have the same symbol they all use the same type of diamonds and they are round they are the diamond dots brand and there are some special ones right here if you can see that it's a 010203 are some special diamond dots so I want to say to you that the, this canvas is so nice. It's nice and thick. It's very well made. Uh, this will make some nice projects. And there are some suggestions on the box because you can do more with your diamond 
paintings besides putting them behind glass or just in a frame. Since this is fabric, since the canvas panels are fab are basically a fabric, and that is for every type of canvas diamond project that you get, you can cut it and you can make it into something else. For example, here they show one on a tote bag. Here they have one on a table runner. And on this one, they've made it into a cushion. Now, I think that's great that they are showing you alternatives to how to use diamond painting. So as for the projects themselves, they are uh, they come out of this bag, this diamond dots, this is what the canvas was in. The little diamonds were all in individual cello bags. Um, you can see that here. I'm trying to show you, you can see a picture of all the small cello bags that I've already opened up and placed into what I like to use, which are uh, some pretty strong, clear little zip seal bags. I put a little piece of paper inside just so the bag stands upright. I also put a piece of dryer sheet to reduce the static. And these are all the little diamonds. And then I put them in this little tray. Since these are small projects, I decided to put all my beads into this little tray that I picked up at the dollar store. It's a trinket tray. It's made of acrylic. I was going to use this, this tray for something else, but uh, when I got home and I tried it, it, it didn't work. I miscalculated my, my project, so but it's perfect for this. In the kit, uh, besides the diamond, you do get two squares of this wax. There are two trays and two grippy things and the tool that you get is a white uh, diamond dot brand little tool and I have to say I find this is a nice sturdy plastic compared to uh, some other ones so it looks pretty so I've already set mine up because I've already started to do the wreath part and so here we have 20 of the round diamonds and in here there are some metallic ones these are so awesome they're so shiny shiny silver metallic i think these are gorgeous and all the diamonds are beautiful they very reflective uh, they do specialize in making these round diamonds. They do have multi, I believe they have 13 facets and they do reflect a lot of light. And the shine does remain on the diamonds even after picking them up several times with the wax on the end of the uh, tool here. Look at the wet. Well, you can't really see it probably on camera, but they are so, so shiny, so brilliant. It's lovely. Now, the fun part for me is these are new. You get these really big ones. They're like half pearls or flat back pearls, basically. And they're very, very shiny. And I guess the intention for this will be to be the ornaments on the wreath and the the Christmas tree as well. Um, I'm not sure what other projects, maybe the buttons on the snowman. I can't really tell right now, but yeah, so they're really fun. Some really fun uh, shapes and diamonds to use in these projects. So I'm already having a lot of fun working on this project. Every now and again, whenever I have uh, a moment that I, for some reason, I, I am watching something on TV or I have to talk on the phone, I do this. And it's just really easy to do and a lot of fun. So, couldn't wait to share that with you. Uh, it might not be too late for you to 
pick some of these projects up to may perhaps give to somebody else or to give to yourself for this holiday season. So I hope that you enjoyed my Diamond Dots for fantastic holiday projects uh, show and tell here. And if there are links that I can share, I will do so in the description below. And I want to thank you again for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. If you like this video, a thumbs up would be so appreciated. Like, comment, share also. And until next time, my friends, stay crafty. Bye.